Ring of Honor has always been a place where the best wrestlers go to show what pro wrestling is all about. So it was stunning and sobering to learn that ROH would be shutting its doors and releasing a majority of their talented roster. And while the promotion really had no say in the matter, we here at Hit The Music do. And that is why I'm Kevin Callis, and here are Kevin's seven Ring of Honor theme songs that will never be forgotten. If you put together a mountain of this century's wrestling superstars, despite his seven-year hiatus, CM Punk has to be carved into that granite. And the reasons for that include his successful WWE run and his much-hyped return joining AEW. But before all that, Punk paid his dues and cut his teeth in Ring of Honor as he established the expert ability to tell good stories in the ring and pair that with his passionate promo work, which endeared him to the rabid ROH fanbase. And this theme here. Miseria Cantara by AFI truly reflects the golden era of the indie scene. Everything about it had a big match feel with the crowd pounding the beat on the metal barricades as the lights flickered in tune, spotlighting Punk as the biggest star in the hottest indie promotion. All right, boys and girls, who's ready for story time with Adam Cole, baby? Having spent eight years or over half of his career with the promotion, Cole officially debuted in 2009 and went on to become the first ever three-time ROH World Champion. Adam Cole, baby, is this generation's HBK Shawn Michaels, and it all began for him here. And helping him establish his heel personality was this heater titled Something For You. Now, AEW's music producer Mikey Ruckus has already gone on the record stating he drew inspiration for Cole's latest theme, from this banger by incorporating a similar lyrical delivery and drum beat, showcasing Chugs's shocking swagger. This tune, which was picked by then future Mount Rushmore buddy Kevin Steen, paints the Panama City playboy as an undisputed villain, ready and willing to do anything to win. Speaking of undisputed, longtime fans of Bobby Fish probably recognized this tune accompanying him to the ring during his AEW debut on Dynamite when he challenged TNT champion Sammy Guevara in a losing effort. Like slipping on an old pair of fitted blue jeans, the Round Eye Samurai took to his former Red Dragon theme song of Dance Away by Dan Valentine's like it was 2015 all over again as soon as the first chord ripped. Alongside part partner Kyle O'Reilly, Red Dragon are best known for their work in Ring of Honor, where during the mid-2010s, they were the greatest team on God's Green, as this cohesive squat-busting unit are not only three-time ROH World Tag Team Champions, but they are also the first tag team in history to have won tag team championships in New Japan, ROH, and the WWE. Perhaps you're beginning to notice a pattern here, because if Ring of Honor prides itself on having the best pro wrestling on the planet, then it's no surprise that their stars continue to become all elite. And while Jay Lethal may be the latest and greatest to join AEW, he's certainly not the last on this list that has already signed or will potentially sign in the not so distant future. And you can't blame the greatest first generation wrestler for sitting on the sidelines too long because he is just too damn good and deserves to be working somewhere in prime time. Black Machismo's AEW debut had him stepping out onto the Full Gear stage to a savage new theme, which meant that he won't be lethally injecting his final boss theme, Scorched Ops, into your eardrums anytime soon. We'll take wrestling themes that slap, but rarely get spoken about for 800, please, Alex. If you learn nothing from this video about the current Kevin Owens when he wrestled for Ring of Honor, it's this. He's Canadian, he loves koala bears, and he used to have one of the best theme songs in all of wrestling, Unsettled Differences by Blue Smock Nancy. Now, fantasy bookers worldwide have descended upon every wrestling message board online to lay out their desired debut of Kevin Steen if he becomes 
All Elite in 2022. And the overwhelming majority also wants him to come out in a blaze of glory with this tune leading the way. Once billed as wrestling's worst nightmare, there is no denying Owen's connection to multiple members of the AEW roster who might soon enough hear the words, kill, steen, kill. Reach for the sky, boy. When you think about Ring of Honor OGs, them boys from Sandy Fork, Delaware, Mark and Jay, the Briscoe brothers, have been kings of ROH's tag team division for two decades. One might think that with Ring of Honor on hiatus, one of the most cosmetically pleasing modern duos might finally get their shot at wrestling on national TV. At one point in time, it's hard to argue against the brothers quietly being the best tag team in wrestling, who done did it against every team imaginable. The American Wolves, Motor City Machine Guns, Kings of Wrestling, and so on and so forth. How a pair of chicken farmers got strapped up 11 times over as ROH Tag Team Champions, that'll never be topped, and neither will their Reach for the Sky theme either, because... Uh, hey, Terry Funk ain't wearing no mouthpiece. Hell no, Terry Funk ain't wearing no damn mouthpiece. Chris Hero and Claudio Castanoli took the independent wrestling scene by storm in the mid-2000s when they joined forces as a pair of arrogant athletic jerks and anointed themselves the kings of wrestling. A pair of world-class grapplers individually, Hero and Claudio blended perfectly as a team and complemented one another in terms of both ring skill and personality. Tearing it up worldwide, but especially in Ring of Honor, they had an incredible year-long reign as tag team champions that's arguably the best in ROH history with their unparalleled chemistry, unchallenged athleticism, and mind-boggling track record of great matches. This theme song by artist Cody Beware was a crowning achievement that made the KOW second to none. And while the WWE had the opportunity to reunite Cesaro and Cassius Ono, the E kinda hates making their fans happy, you know? And that's it for our list. We just want to say thanks for watching, but more importantly, please support Ring of Honor talent by buying their merch, becoming Patreons, ordering their cameos, and subscribing to their YouTube channels. And even if you can't help them financially, use your social media to retweet content from the talent like GIFs and match clips. This is totally helpful because it can ultimately help introduce these talented men and women to new fans and new promoters. We wish everyone involved the best, and we'll see you next time. Now hit the music.